What is going on, YouTube people? Northeast Ohio Cards and Comics here for a PSA submission preview video. That's right. I won the PSA lottery again. They came down from the grading heavens and blessed me uh, on Tuesday with five more submission slots. I actually had trouble trying to figure out what to send for this. I was going through a lot of cards, found stuff that I didn't like on them, didn't think that it would be worth the send, him hod, went back and forth. And these are the five that we settled on. Spoilers, they are all Marvel. I know, I know. Hopefully by the time I get back, the Marvel market's still hot. We will see five card economy order. I already have. So right now, outstanding. I have an SGC order that has backed me. You already seen that video. I have a three card regular PSA order that is out. It is in the grading phase at time of recording this. I have another five card economy order that I sent about a week or so ago that has been received by PSA and has not been checked in. And now I have this one going out. So what is going in this one? A little bit of everything. Uh, first up, I got to keep these in order because the paperwork is done. We have a white Schwartz. I'm going to try a white Schwartz with PSA. I got the one back from SGC. Uh, it's up for sale now. This is a SR, so secret rare, I believe. So a little harder to hit. It's got kind of like the prism patterned effect there. Uh, going to send this one off Black Panther. Nice looking card. We will see how it does. Not going to lie. I'm just going to say it right now. I'm assuming a 10 on these. These are very, very easy grades. Uh, so I went with something a little bit more rare. I thought about sending a regular rare hollow foil, but I kind of want to see how that Captain America does first. Uh, I think this will have a little bit more juice to it because it's a secret rare and it's Black Panther. So we'll see what happens with that. So that one is going off. Then we got a little 90 MU action. We talked about this one in the last submission preview, but this was one of the ones that almost didn't make the cut. I think this has a chance, a pretty decent chance to nine. It's ever so slightly off center, top to bottom. I checked it on the centering tool. It's closer than what my eyes are showing me. But in a PSA 10, these are doing like 600 bucks. So even say it dips a little bit and it's still a $500 card, I think it's worth it. And maybe I could break even the slightly lose on a PSA 9. The thing about the 90 MU stuff is in a PSA 9, it is a death sentence. In a PSA 10, it is still doing pretty good. So you have to be extremely choosy with these when you're sending them in. But we are sending this one off. 90 MU Thor. If it comes back a 9, I will honestly probably just hang on to it. I have given some thoughts to trying to put together a PSA set of 90 MU, not in any particular grade, just maybe as I am grading these, as they come back, uh, you know, just kind of if any, any that I'm going to lose money on, maybe just hold and try to put a PSA set together. So we'll see. I don't know if I want to go down that path yet or not, but 90 MU Thor heading off. Next up, also MU, 91 Scarlet Witch. Uh, this card looks pretty good. I think this has a pretty decent shot to 10. Uh, only thing I see on this is it is slightly off left to right. It looks a little worse than it actually is. These cards are kind of naturally off kilter ever so slightly with the way these are bordered. Um, but we're going to give this a whirl. She does not have a card in 90 MU, so this would be her first Marvel Universe card. And in theory, in theory, I would think I would get this back sometime around Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. I could not find a PSA 10 comp on this. I'm going to guess 150, 200 bucks. And a PSA 9, I'm probably losing my ass. It's probably a 20, $25 card, to be honest. So taking a risk here, sending this one as well. Uh, but, you know, I like to live dangerously. Showed this one on a recent mail day video. This is also Scarlet Witch. This is 2018 Fleer Ultra X-Men Rainbow Foil uh, Achievement Card. These are, I believe, an achievement card. These are very rare, hard to track down. Uh, it is a thicker stock card. I think this is probably a nine. Uh, it does have a little tiny white on the front corner. So I have a feeling it's going to nine. Uh, I'm sending it anyways because I just really like the card and I would be fine just keeping it, to be honest. But I would like it slabbed. So... If by some miracle it got a 10, I would probably sell it. If it got a nine, I would maybe see what offers come in. Anything lower than that, I would just hang on to because I think it's a gorgeous looking card. So this one is going off. And then last but not least, 
we have the spider gwen patterned from 2017 fleer ultra spider-man uh i think this card could nine it very well could come back in eight just because psa is harsh on thicker cards so there is a chance it could eight i personally think it's a borderline eight nine uh, there is a little tiny mark on the edge, the top edge. And then these corners are a little white, but not too bad given how these cards are. This is in better shape, I think, than my red Gwen that I sent off. Uh, that's at P there at PSA on regular service now. I think this is a better looking card than the red Gwen in, con in condition wise. The only thing that makes me a little more nervous about it is that top edge. And I really don't even know if there's anything there. It is hard to no, My top edge might be clean. Regardless, that's going off. Hoping for the nine, probably going to eight. Just PSA is really tough on thick stuff. So, um, but either way, I want the slab. I don't really care per se. Absolutely gorgeous looking card. Uh, these look great in hand. For those that don't know, this is an achievement card. These are not, though it's kind of like a PMG, it is not numbered. Estimated print runs are about 100 to 150, I believe, on the patterns. But absolutely fantastic looking cards. We'll be excited to have this one slabbed up. So that is all I have for you boys and girls today. Nice, short, sweet video. Uh, you know, I'm running out of raw stuff. I legitimately might have to rip. If PSA drops to like... I don't know. If these $50 slots become more available, I'm going to be extremely itchy to rip my box of 90 MU. I have one more box to go, and that stuff is still selling well on a PSA 10. If you can hit key characters, that's the tricky part. So that box I am into for 250 bucks. I believe maybe 200 bucks, 200 bucks. I think I'm into that box for the first box that I ripped and graded. I paid high for, I paid 1300 for that box. I bought during the peak, but I kill, I crushed it on that box. I made a ton of money off that box. Even with grading fees. Uh, I made a couple grand off that easy, 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 easy. Made a couple grand off that, but 90 MU. That's when a Spider-Man was selling for 15, 1600. That's obviously not the case now, but they still go for five to 600 and considering them into the box for around two and grading fees are actually cheaper now at 50 bucks a card than what I was paying last February and March for express services. Cause I sent a lot of that stuff express to get it back quick. So I might rip that box. If nothing else, it'll make good content. There is no guarantees. I could take that box right now and sell it for probably about six to $700. Or I could rip it and go for the home run. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm going to consider that one. If I rip it, I will obviously rip it on camera, whether it's pre-recorded or a live stream. I don't know yet. Uh, I would probably live stream that one. 90 MU is a fun rip live. So maybe look forward to that on the channel. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys and girls today. Smash the like button. Gently tap it. Do whatever you want to do with it. Just touch it. Subscribe if you haven't, and we will catch you guys and girls on the next one. Peace.